Hello, good evening and welcome. My name is Brevin Circuses, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Game of Thrones. Specifically, the latest episode of Game of Thrones. So, fair warning, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, then prepare to be spoiled, I guess. Um, I am a huge fan of Game of Thrones, and also of A Song of Ice and Fire, the book series. Uh, and I like them both for different reasons. Um, though recently they've been changing an awful lot uh, from the books to the show and I'm well aware that they are quite within their rights to do this. It does irritate me when I, I've been a fan of the books and I like something in the books that they then remove or change in, in some way but they are quite within their rights to do so and it doesn't bother me that much. I would never stop watching the show specifically because they've changed something, unless they change to something ridiculous, like if in the very next episode uh, suddenly there are dinosaurs everywhere, then I'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? Why, why are the dinosaurs in Game of Thrones? At which point I would stop. But when it's just they've modified the story slightly, or they've changed the character a little bit, or whatever, that's fine. It doesn't bother me in the least. Um, and I do believe in freedom of artistic expression which, to me, is what this controversy about the latest episode uh, is about. Those who are for freedom of artistic expression and those who are against it. There are, uh, there have been a number of complaints from all kinds of people and people saying they're going to boycott the show, people saying they're no, they're no longer going to watch the show and so on and so forth. Uh, because of a particular scene at the end of the latest episode in which Sansa Stark is uh, raped by uh, Ramsay Bolton while Theon Turncloak watches. Uh, he is forced to watch. Um, the rape itself actually occurs off screen. All you see is Theon's face before the camera before it fades to black and the show is over for the, the time being. Um, and this has had a number of um, people complaining. There are different reasons for their complaints, but um, the primary one uh, seems to be that the rape scene is unnecessary. At which point I would like to say, okay, so is every scene because as is the case with every single piece of art ever there is no reason for it to exist it no creative thing has any necessity whatsoever it exists simply because someone decided to make it there's no necessity to any of it there's no reason that any of the characters exist any of the plot points exist any of the locations exist they exist only because people wanted to so you're right the rape scene is not necessary, nor is any other scene ever. So that's not an argument. The other uh, issues with it seem to be um, that uh, because it was off screen uh, and we observe instead Theon's face, uh, that it becomes more about Theon and not about her. At which point I have to say, who gives a fuck? Uh, because that seems completely irrelevant. Would you rather that we watched Sansa being raped? I don't see why that would be better. Um, and ultimately, uh, being able to have a horrific act affect more than just an individual, but multiple characters and multiple narrative strands, seems like quite a good narrative device, I would have thought. Um, but then again, that's just my humble opinion. Uh, the... Uh, other issue is that they claim that because it wasn't in the books that they are just adding it in the show for shock value uh, for uh, in order to stir up controversy which is uh, I'll admit entirely possible and if it is the case they've done a fantastic job of it considering the backlash that has occurred but it is in no way a problem if that's what they're doing if all they're doing is trying to do something provocative that's fine, they're allowed to, and they've succeeded, so good for them. <laughs> I honestly don't understand what the issue is. Uh, I think, I believe um, it was Milo Yiannopoulos uh, tweeted uh, that if there was one uh, fake rape that uh, people should be being angry about, it wasn't the one in Game of Thrones, but the one portrayed in Rolling Stone. And I couldn't agree more. 
uh, a false depiction of rape in a piece of art is in no way an issue at all even slightly it's completely irrelevant to everything and yet people are still having issues with it um, and yet in real life there are false accusations of rape occurring which do cause real world damage and physically destroy people's lives and people couldn't give a fuck uh, now there's um, been some uh, one of the responses people t typically give is like well it's realistic because it is rape does occur and uh, been saying things like well it suits the characters because it does um, the all plot leading up to this point have made it so that essentially they were going to have sex and that she didn't want to have sex with him and that he did want to have sex with her. Chances are there was going to be rape involved. The fact that we already know that Ramsey is a sadistic, um, murdering, raping scumfuck indicates that he was likely to rape her. The fact that he is sociopathic and likes to torture Theon indicates that he was going to in some way attempt to torture him. The fact that they managed to combine them into sort of having Theon watch and therefore torment his psyche while he rapes her indicates that they've just quite cleverly combined the two. Um, so there's again nothing wrong with that. But one of the things I noticed was um, a tweet from a parody account on, uh, on Twitter obviously, um, a, a parody of the Women Against Feminism uh, movement um, which I can't stand the account because it's just so fucking stupid. But um, this the particular tweet, uh, I read it and immediately recognised that it was meant to be, um, it wasn't meant to be serious, but it actually makes sense. And it was, I don't need feminism, they always spell feminism wrong because it's a parody account. Sorry, but the defenders are right. Game of Thrones needs those added rape scenes because of realism. Ignore the dragons. And I have to say, well, yeah, the rape scenes make sense, they do make it realistic, it's a realistic depiction of what could occur and everything makes sense. The whole dragons thing, sure it wouldn't make sense provided it were the real world, but within the context of the universe of Game of Thrones, of Westeros, Nessus and so on and so forth, there are dragons, therefore the existence of the dragons in no way is contradictory. It's not unrealistic to have the dragons. It would be unrealistic to depict the dragons in modern day England now. Like, what would you say, this is a realistic depiction of England. Look, here's the shard, and here's the gherkin in London, and also dragons exist. Then we'd be like, well, hang on. Dragons, really? But this is a fantasy world in which dragons are supposed to exist. So it is realistic within the depiction of this world to have dragons. Again, it's a world filled with rape, so there's going to be rape. And there have been people saying, oh my god, I can't believe they added rape, because you know, it's, it's just, it's horrible, you should never have rape in anything. Well, why not? Surely the whole point of art is that the artist chooses what it is they want to do, and if they want rape to be depicted in their art form, then that's fine. Particularly as because it's art, no one actually gets hurt. No one was actually raped. There's nothing bad that's actually occurred. At no point did anything bad actually happen to a person called Sansa Stark. Such a person does not exist. And in fact, the actress playing her, whose name I can't remember, um, stated that she loved that scene and that she loved doing those scenes and that she actually, on set, used to um, torment uh, the writers uh, by uh, making them feel guilty about the scene, uh, by convincing them that she found it uh, uh, traumatic um, when she really didn't. So she sounds like a total bitch, but as she has said, she loved the scene, she thought it was fantastic, and at no point was she actually raped. Never. No one was. No one was raped here. A fictional character was raped off screen. There is no reason to complain about this. And this is what it boils down to. It boils down to, do you believe that artists should have the right to depict whatever they want in their fictitious worlds or do you believe that there should be constraints placed upon artistic expression in the name of protecting the sensibilities of pathetic mewling weaklings and as far as I'm concerned I think freedom of expression, freedom of speech freedom of artistic license 
are all massively important and cannot be underestimated in their relevance to our continued freedom. If you restrict the freedom of people to express what they will in art, you destroy so much liberty that I simply cannot understand why someone would be pro-censorship, would be against freedom. It seems illogical to me. I would have thought no one was pathetic enough to want other people's work censored to protect their feelings. But a great number of people, particularly feminists and social justice warriors, do seem to want this. And so I would like to say, here and now, I am against censorship in any form. I am for artistic expression and artistic freedom. I am for freedom of expression in all forms. You can put rape in your show if you want. Who gives a fuck? Idiots, apparently. Anywho, that's all I really have to say about that. Fuck off, everyone. And of course, good luck.